We are here today with the latest 17-inch LG Gram Laptop 2020. LG Gram is LG's super thin and super light laptop. This is the world's lightest 17-inch laptop right now. This year, LG has updated several things. Let's dive in to see what changes LG has made in the 17-inch LG Gram 2020. Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Square. The LG Gram 2020 has no visual difference from last year's model and much of the updates were made internally. If you're not familiar with LG Gram laptops, then the first thing that you will notice about the laptop is its 17-inch display. Putting the laptop in the Ultrabook category, the laptop features LG's IPS panel and has 1440p resolution with a 16x10 aspect ratio, so you get more space on the top and bottom. This is an unusual aspect ratio that makes it convenient to browse the web, working on full screen apps and productivity apps. The display can get really bright at 400 nits, which is quite helpful when working in daylight as the screen is really glossy. But at night, working on full brightness in the low light area was hurtful to my eyes. So be sure to reduce the intensity at night so that it doesn't hurt your eyes. The display offers 100% sRGB, 76% Adobe RGB, and 76% P3 gamut, making it a decent panel for video editing works. Although with the size, resolution, high contrast panel, and unique aspect ratio, the LG Gram is more than enough for casual video editing. Having said that, for professional video editors, it's a pretty average display, although you can always hook it up with a secondary monitor. The LG Gram weighs only 1.35 kg. To put things into perspective, the new 13-inch MacBook Pro 2020 weighs 1.40 kg while the LG Gram is a 17-inch Ultrabook. The way LG has achieved this build is through using magnesium alloy in the chassis. Its weight is also distributed properly, so the laptop feels really lightweight while carrying. Due to proper weight distribution, you can also open the lid using only one hand, which is great. Now the alloy isn't particularly rigid and LG admits that there is a certain level of flexibility in the display and the body. You can see the display is wobbly and the keyboard area flexes but that is a good thing apparently, which means the screen won't break while carrying inside of a backpack. LG also claims that the laptop meets military level durability for shock, high and low temperature, dust and vibrations. So it's a little bit of a tricky situation here but the device feels very well made and should hold up quite well over time. Being so lightweight, the LG Gram is easy to carry around in your backpack. Now moving on to the internals. Spec-wise, we got the new Intel 10th Gen Core i7 processor with Intel Iris Plus graphics. The unit we have us here comes with a 16GB onboard memory and you can upgrade it to 24GB with its dual channel expandable slot. There are two NVMe M2 drive slot which totals to 1TB of SSD storage. Now that is a welcome addition to the LG Gram 2020. Up until this point, all the LG Gram that ever came out featured slower SATA drive, which was disappointing considering the LG Gram is LG's premium edition laptop. There is also Intel's latest Wi-Fi card that supports Wi-Fi 6. Another big change the LG Gram came with this year is its upgraded thermal system. The LG Gram from 2 years ago and the last year's model did not have a good thermal system. The reason behind it was that the device is super thin and lightweight, so there was a limitation. Anyhow, this year with the 17-inch LG Gram, they have upgraded the fan to the point that I can say it has a pretty good thermal system now. I mean, it's not the best, but this year the LG Gram can finally maintain a slight turbo clock unlike before. Although, while video editing and working on a few software at the same time can make the laptop hotter. The speakers are located at the bottom again and get really loud. However, the sound quality isn't that great, which I wasn't really expecting, but LG has been making decent audio devices for the past few years since they collaborated with Meridian Audio. So I hope in the future LG leverages that relationship and makes the speaker on the Gram laptop sound a bit better. Another thing that LG Gram has updated this year is the battery. The 2020 LG Gram now has 80 watt hour high energy density battery instead of 72 watt hour of last year. LG claims that you can get up to 17 hours of battery life. In my time with the laptop, I was able to get about 10 to 12 hours of battery life doing some light video editing, internet browsing, checking up my emails, watching some YouTube content. And I guess if you limit to just internet browsing and checking up emails, you could essentially get up to 16 hours of battery life easily, which is brilliant. Anyways, performance-wise, in my opinion, LG Gram 2020 delivers average Ultrabook performance. 
Although compared to last year's model, this year's Gram offers a decent amount of CPU performance and significantly better GPU performance. So the Gram laptop is good for photo editing and workable in video editing scenarios. But due to the lower CPU wattage, the LG Gram laptop is not as powerful as some other Ultrabooks, but the overall takeaway is that this year's model is a way better performer than any other LG Gram that came out previously. If you're interested in gaming with the LG Gram, then it's okay and certain games are playable that isn't super demanding. But do keep in mind that the LG Gram isn't a gaming laptop. Now the keyboard on the new 17-inch LG Gram has been improved from the last year's model. Last year, they just stuck the keyboard on the 15-inch model into the 17-inch chassis, which is weird when you think about it. However, this year they have tweaked the keyboard to take advantage of the wider space to make the layout a little more spacious. The backspace and shift keys are now full-sized keys and there's a bigger number pad on the right for those who want separate number pads. There is also a fingerprint sensor built into the power button on the top right corner of the keyboard. The keys are quite soft and pretty responsive and I think most people can get used to the keyboard very easily. The trackpad on the LG Gram has got a glass surface and has a nice texture. Although if you take the trackpad on the MacBook as the gold standard of trackpads, then this is not. But overall, it's a pretty great trackpad that you can get used to. Moving on to the ports, there is a Thunderbolt 3 port that also supports charging, but LG has added a regular barrel plugged AC adapter as well, which in my opinion is unnecessary. A device like this should only feature a USB-C charger for charging purposes. There are three USB-A ports, which is good, a 3.5mm headphone out and a microSD card slot. Micro SD slot can be good for some people, but I think a full sized SD card slot would have been a much better choice. Nevertheless, the overall port selection on this device is sufficient enough. Now let's wrap this up with who this device is for. The LG Gram offers a massive 17 inch screen real estate that is bright, colorful, and with its thin bezel, quite attractive. It packs decent power for an Ultrabook, not the most powerful Ultrabook, but powerful enough for casual video editing. I personally enjoyed working on the laptop. Previously, I had an ASUS laptop for my daily research, script writing, browsing the internet, checking email, and watching videos on YouTube. Now I'm considering switching over to LG Gram since I'm happy with its overall performance. But mostly, this laptop is a great choice for a business person or professional who wants an ultra lightweight laptop they can carry around. So in my opinion, if you're a business professional, then the LG Gram 2020 can be a great choice for you with enough firepower to support your regular workflow. While its super lightweightness and ultra portability is also another plus point for carrying the laptop around from one conference room to another. So that sums up our video for today. If you like this video, then hit the like and share with your friends. Comment below to let us know your thoughts. Consider subscribing to this channel if you want to see more videos from us and press the bell icon to get notified for our next video.